You know what's a part of video making we always forget about? Audio. So Comica sent out their WS60 wireless mic combo thingy for me to try out, but this won't affect my review in any way, shape, or form. That being said, inside the packaging, I was very surprised to find that this came packaged very nicely. It's got the whole custom foam cutouts and everything for all the stuff. Inside you get the receiver, not one, but two transmitters. You get a USB-A to USB-C cable for charging, an audio cable for the receiver, two lavalier microphones and two mini dead cats, a mini tripod, a mini ball head mount that can be fitted onto a threaded mount, as well as a hot shoe, which I think is pretty useful. You also get belt clips for each transmitter and some paperwork. Taking a closer look at the receiver, it's mostly made of plastic aside from the metal mounts for your phone up on top and bottom, which we'll take a look at later. Among all the buttons is of course the on button, which will turn on if you hold down the button, giving you all the information you're gonna need for volume and connection and whatnot. You got your buttons for changing connection channels, a switch to connect to either one of the single receivers or both at the same time, and most importantly, a mono and stereo switch as well as a phone or camera mode switch. Off to the side, you can find the gain dials for each channel, a USB-C input for charging, an output for audio, as well as one for headphone monitoring. On the back, you'll find the reset pinhole button in case anything goes wrong, and a threaded mounting hole on the back, as well as on the bottom metal base, which can be flipped out along with the top one, which is also made of metal, allowing you to mount your phone straight onto your receiver, which you can then slap onto your tripod. Now, as for the transmitter, it's much more simple. It's got the on button, which also acts as a mute button, a channel changing button, a transmitter A or B toggle, as well as a low pass filter toggle switch. On the side is a USB charging input, as well as a microphone input, and on the back, you'll find the reset pinhole button, a threaded hole for mounting, as well as the belt clip. As for the lav mic, it's a pretty standard lavalier mic, which we will be testing later. All right, now for the second purpose of this video, I'm actually gonna be recording off my iPhone 12 Pro Max. I got a little moment adapter on because I want that width and quality. We're gonna be talking about this moment case later with um this lens, of course, is that's when magic happens. Let me just get the lens back on there just about right. Here we go. Now, the example of why I'm using this on my phone or rather why I'm using um this setup without the mics attached or whatnot is give you an idea of like why you would want the whole wireless mic setup. And as you can tell, this audio on the iPhone actually isn't that bad. Problem is, it's only on the phone and it doesn't follow me where I am. So if I change direction of where my voice is going, whether I'm facing this wall, this wall, walking away, looking at the phone from this distance, the volume of my voice is going to change and fluctuate depending on where I am because the mic will always be there on the phone and not with me. So it's not exactly ideal for situations where I need to like walk around the room and talk about things and want to also have like a consistent audio level. That's where the whole wireless stuff comes in. All right, now this time I have the whole wireless system set up. I have the little receiver on the phone. It's attached with the whole system it comes with. I've got the transmitter on my booty with the lav mic running from the thing all the way under my shirt to my collar here. And this is also an example of how the microphone is going to sound. It's okay. Of course, if I look straight down at the microphone, it's gonna sound a lot better because mics like direct sound, but that's the sacrifice you're gonna to have to make if you want this mobility. With um, lav mics, that's just the nature of them. They're usually under your chin, depending on where you tuck them, and your sound's gonna come this way, despite it wanting sound to come this way, but it's okay for what it is, and this is just a normal occurrence if you're gonna use a lav mic. In a trade, we have better mobility and a like, um, very tr consistent sound just tripping on these words. Point is, no matter where I'm at in the room, my sound should be consistent because the mic is always on me. I'm not tethered to anything. I don't have to have like a boom mic person following me around, which would probably give me better like sound quality, but I would require an assistant with a stick and a microphone plugged into like a little recorder. If I'm just by myself or I wanna be very convenient, I will just use like a wireless setup like this. Battery life is super good. It's pretty long. I've never had any trouble with it in this whole entire testing phase. If you top off your battery, it's gonna last you a super long time. I don't have like the number on top of my head, but here's the number, how long it's gonna last. Now, with all that being said, there's not much else I can tell you about this setup. It's um, it's a nice wireless set. You get quite a lot, honestly, and the build of it's nice. You get a whole like, where's that bag? There it is. You get this whole little bag to carry your stuff, including like, you know, compartments for all your extra stuff. I even keep my moment lenses in one of the compartments, which is kind of neat. You got little, little, uh, little pockets here in case you want to put extra accessories which is pretty cool and for the price that you're paying which is like right here because i can't remember what's top of my head because i'm an idiot it's not bad honestly because you get quite a lot and it is a very professional setup despite this being a very um budget company typically so that makes me honestly pretty happy that being said if you do want to buy it i'll leave a link in the description and it is an affiliate link so if you use that link i do get a slight kickback which will help run this channel that being said i'm also on twitch these days Schedule is hectic. I never know when I'm gonna be on. Just make sure to follow and you'll know when I'm on. Pop in, say hi, ask questions, I don't care. 
will have a good time watching me just do badly in games. Anyway, if you guys like this video, do leave me a like because that'll help me around this whole YouTube algorithm space. If you love the content, do subscribe for more and have a nice day.